Wolsey's rifle might just be the best energy primary out of all the brave weapons, especially when you consider that Bungie is giving a massive buff to pulse rifles in the final shape with a whopping 38% damage buff in PvE. And on top of that, in my opinion, it puts all other high impact pulse rifles to shame and I don't even think it's close. I mean, look at all this red when placed side by side with every other high impact pulse on D2 Foundry's stat comparison tool. That red shows where Elsie outclasses each stat and with this much red, you could literally paint the town. On top of this, it surprised me how good this felt to use in PvE. This is largely due to it being both a void weapon while also having really strong perk variety, making it a really strong primary weapon for void builds. With all that said, let's start off by talking about the perks for PvE first. So right away, one of the first combinations I want to talk about feeds into the fact that this is a void weapon, and that's pairing Feeding Frenzy with Destabilizing Rounds. The reason why is because Elsie's already has a rather high reload based stat, which means it only takes two kills to max out your reload at 100, which is extremely easy to do consistently, especially when paired with destabilizing rounds. Also, when you factor in that Feeding Frenzy is giving you a reload multiplier, if we get any more stacks, it will still be able to reload even faster, but on the max reload stat, so we're still getting benefits even beyond those two initial kills. Pair this with destabilizing rounds, which is a fantastic perk for ad clearing just on its own, but lean into it with void builds, and it not only elevates the weapon, but it also complements Feeding Frenzy, allowing us to keep the stacks up on the perk consistently while ad clearing. Now, if you don't like that Feeding Frenzy requires kills, you could swap it out for something like Rewind Rounds and make it so you don't have to reload as often. And this combination might actually be even better for higher level content where getting multi kills is a little bit tougher. Now, if you want to lean even harder into Void Builds, then pairing Repulsor Brace with Destabilizing Rounds is going to be your best option. I know for me personally, although I like Repulsor Brace, I much prefer the buff to reload speed with Feeding Frenzy or the extra ammo from Rewind Rounds. Now, if you want something that's a bit more passive and doesn't require kills to benefit, you could switch out Destabilizing Rounds for Frenzy, and you can pair that nicely with some of the same perks in Column 3, like Rewind Rounds, and yes, even Feeding Frenzy. I know for me though, anytime I get Rewind Rounds and Frenzy together, I always feel like it's a strong combination, especially in more pinnacle content. As for some other damage perks, I also like Adrenaline Junkie for Void Grenade builds, and I could see Desperate Measures being a decent option as well, and even Desperado if you want to buff your rate of fire, which will improve your overall damage. Now, when it comes to the magazine perks, since I myself am leaning more towards Feeding Frenzy, I like Armor Piercing Rounds, Ricochet Rounds, or High Caliber Rounds to stun like Red Bars, but if you go for Repulsor Brace or Rewind Rounds instead, then Flared Magwell is probably going to be a better option. As for the barrel, I myself like Arrowhead Break or Chamber Compensator, but Corkscrew Rifling or even Small Bore are also decent options. And finally for the Master Rick, I like Stability, but Reload Speed is also a decent alternative option. Moving on to PvP, I know for myself, I really like Zen Moment paired with Headseeker as someone that plays on controller, as it's helping me be more consistent at landing my optimal time to kill. As for Headseeker, it's not going to improve your time to kill on its own, but it will make it a little bit more forgiving, and it's always a great combination to pair with Zen Moment. And I tend to like more passive perks when it comes to PvP. With that said, if you do want to improve your time to kill, you have perks like Kill Clip, Desperate Measures, Desperados, and yes, even Adrenaline Junkie can all improve your time to kill at various levels. With that said, the ones that will be the most effective is Kill Clip and Desperado, with Desperado giving you the best time to kill at 0.55 seconds, with Kill Clip not far behind at 0.60 seconds. You could also make either of these perks crit to body ratios more forgiving when paired with other buffs like Radiant. Now, if you go for Kill Clip, I would pair it with something like Keep Away since it buffs your reload, range, and accuracy to help you proc Kill Clip faster and make you more accurate at longer ranges. With Desperado, I think Zen Moment is a perfect match because Desperado ramps up your rate of fire and Zen Moment helps reduce the physical shake so it can complement that perk rather well. With that said, you could really mix and match any of the perks I mentioned in columns 3 and 4 together, so Kill Clip with Zen Moment or Keep Away with Headseeker, it just really depends on what you prefer. And finally, I do think you can find some decent utility with Repulsor Brace when paired with the right Void Build. You could even pair it with Destabilizing Rounds and 3v3 game modes where your opponents are often grouped up together. Now when it comes to the magazine, I myself like Ricochet Rounds, but High Caliber Rounds or Armor Piercing Rounds are also decent alternatives. As for the barrel, I really like Arrowhead Break, Chamber Compensator, or even Small Bore. And if you want to go even further into range, something like Hammer Forge Rifling is also a good option. And for the Masterwork, I myself am going for range with stability being a decent alternative. 